it's so strange watching all these Hollywood celebrities like step up, like, yeah. and they think it's going to get them more movies or something. Like, that's what it is. If you know those people, well, like, so many of them are. I mean, just let me tell you, like, narcissists. Well, let me tell you how it actually works. There is, is what happens is, you know, these celebrities they they get a call. Okay, they get a call from someone powerful in Hollywood, and uh, that person says, uh, you know, it'd really really great if you endorsed uh, Kamala. You don't have to. It's up to you. But if you don't. They don't say it. They don't say it. But if you don't, you're just never going to get a call again. No more movies. No more concerts. But they ask, they ask, they'll ask it. it they, they'll ask in a really nice way. Ask, it'd be really nice if you endorse Kamala. This is important. And so they and, don't but say if you, if you, that if you don't. They don't make the threat. They don't need to. But everyone knows what will happen if you don't. Well, I think there's also, even if they don't think that something's going to happen to them, if they don't, there's this compelling feeling to support this cause that you think is going to get you a bunch of positive attention and you're going to be on the right side of history and all these narratives that you see, especially from the left in Hollywood, like they're all in on whoever the fuck is the Democrat, always, 100%. There's never a call from the, the, the Hollywood machine to support any Republicans. I've never seen it once. Yeah, ever, never. So yeah. it's like you realize that and that whole business is based on getting picked it's the whole mm -hmm. business is not necessarily merit-based there's a lot of brilliant actors you never right. hear from there's a lot of people who can right. do that but they don't get chosen for roles and everybody knows this that you have to sort of socialize you toe the line or you don't get chosen yeah. for the roles because there's a lot of competition for the roles that's yeah. why that's why i say like the, the, when you when someone powerful in, in hollywood who's able to make to choose these roles calls one of these celebrities they know the deal yeah there's no no, no threat is necessary well, you could see it in real time, like with Dennis Quaid when he made that Reagan movie, and they wouldn't let him advertise on social media platforms. Like, yeah, they were they were b banning ads for it. Yeah, for what? Because it was an election year. Like, what are you talking about? This is about a guy who's dead. Yes, the guy who was president a long ass time ago. Like, what? What do you? How is this? How does this have anything to do with the election year? Yeah, but it's the punishment. It's like you stepped outside the line. You supported the other guy. Yeah, you, the problem is you'll just you'll just never you'll just never get a call again for a movie or. You know, concert or whatever it is. Yeah, which that's is crazy. The, that's the issue. I mean, we used to allow people to be a, a Republican and still be a movie star, Called like Reagan. Clint Eastwood. Reagan. Yeah. yeah, but Clint Eastwood. Yeah. Like during the Obama administration, Clint Eastwood was like an outspoken Republican and mm -hmm. yet was, right. you know, a, a, a giant movie star. And people's yeah. like, ah, it's Clint. Yeah, it was allowed. You were allowed to have. Uh, there was a variety of different opinions. Charlton Heston. Yeah. There was a variety of different opinions you were allowed to have.